Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're doing good. Today, I'm going to talk about a not so new Lightroom update which came about two weeks ago. Now, generally, I don't make a video about every Lightroom update, but this one is definitely special. This one will help you to create complex masks easily and make changes to them. This is definitely going to change your editing game. I'm super, super excited for this one. So without wasting any time, let's get started. The first thing you will notice when you open Lightroom is the UI has changed a bit. Earlier, we had a separate option for radial gradient, linear gradient and brush. Now it's all combined in one section that is masking. Apart from that, there's two more options added, select subject and select sky. These are the options we are going to focus on. Let's go ahead and uh, select sky. It will take some time and try to make a selection of the sky. I have tested this with a lot of different images and to my surprise, it works really well. Making such fine selections was possible in Photoshop, but it was not possible in Lightroom before this update. Things get even more interesting when you check out the new select subject feature. I know this guy looks pretty good, but let's focus on Lightroom, okay? I'm a very modest guy. Jokes apart, let's select the subject. Just one click, takes few seconds and boom, the subject is selected. If I zoom in, you will see Lightroom has done a really good job in selecting the subject, even with the hair. Doing this manually in Photoshop with such precision would have taken a lot of time. To get a better idea of the selection, you can change the way your overlay looks. Let me select image on white and you can see the subject. For this one, image on black would be a better idea because of the contrast. It's not perfect, but it's very close to perfect. To fine tune the selection, I can click on the mask, click on add and you have all the options available. Now suppose I want to use a brush, I'll just paint what I want to add. I'm doing a rough job here just to make you understand. You can even subtract something from the selection. Where things get more interesting is this select subject feature works with non-human subjects as well. For this image, if I select the subject, along with the vehicle, a bit of road and this wooden object is also selected. The reason for it is the lighting is not ideal for the algorithm to detect the subject. So sometimes you have to help Lightroom a bit and then it will make a better selection. What I'm trying to say is, if I boost the exposure a bit and shadows, now you can see the subject more clearly. Let's try select subject again. You can see Lightroom has done a better job in selecting the subject. Now that you have the selection, you can reset the exposure and shadows, but the selection is not going to change. Now you have the selection. What can you do with it? You can do literally everything that you were able to do with radial and linear gradients before. I can turn the overlay off by clicking here if it's distracting or even if it's on, as soon as you start making changes, it turns off automatically and disappears. I'll make some changes to the sky. Just a bit of clarity, dehaze, a bit of saturation, just to add a bit of drama. Now, what if I want everything to be changed except the sky? What if I only want to target the buildings? Now, I'll duplicate this mask and click on invert. I'll name it foreground. That's it. Whatever changes I make will only affect the rest of the image and not the sky. A good practice is to name these masks. It will help you to keep your workflow more organized. There's one issue with this update, which I hope Adobe will fix in the future software updates. Let's try selecting subject again for this particular bird. Does a very good job again, but somehow it did not select this part. I'll click on add, use brush and just paint this area. Simple. I make any changes, the selection is getting affected. It's working as it's supposed to. But what if I want the rest of the image to be affected like before? I cannot invert the whole group of masks. As you can see, inside this group, there is a subject selection and a brush selection. The whole group cannot be inverted. That is the issue. I can only invert individual masks, which is not helpful because if I only invert this, this part is still included, which we don't want. To solve this issue, what I would recommend for right now till the issue is not getting solved is 
duplicate the mask group, click on invert and now you subtract this part with the help of the brush and only the background will get selected. Once you have all your masks ready, you can do local adjustments more easily. This might seem like a small update, but as you start using it more, you will realize how easier it is to make local changes. Earlier, every time I had to use mask, I had to go to Photoshop. Not that I won't use Photoshop for masking, because still in Lightroom, you don't get the whole flexibility of using curves and different adjustment layers with masks. But still, it's a very good update from Adobe and it's narrowing the gap between Lightroom and Photoshop, which is always a good thing for us photographers. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, press the like button. New to the channel, still not subscribed? Please subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me and supports this channel. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.